<laughs> so this week I just wanted to go back into my pink collection tour. We left off with purple. So these were the last ones that we did before. And now we're gonna move on to the blues. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get over here because I'm in the office now and I've got messy desks <laughs> over here. So um, I am going to flip you around. Oh yeah, there's more, more mess. Um, it'll look cuter eventually. Right now it's just kind of a husk. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Let's look at some blue pins. Okay, so let's take a look at blue pins. I've got, these are kind of the remnants of the purples. I can't remember if I talked about them. Um, I think I did. Um, we've got some gray muse. This is one that I did with Jordan Denae. That was a limited edition one for my pin club a few years ago. Um, we've got Nutmeg and Arlo. This is another pin of mine that's in the shop now. And this one was by Samantha Enon. And then I've got a Disney one, Rapunzel. This one's fairly new. My sister got this one for me. It's uh, the king of the cosmos. <laughs> because I love, love, love Katamari. I don't know if that focused. This is like not the ideal. I'm like reaching up, hell. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus today, you guys. Okay, we've got some Jade Boylan. This was from Japan, LA. A couple of Totoro's, we've got a Kiwi Han. I think that's Kiwi Han. I think it's Kiwi Hen. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, I'm gonna double check, but Kiwi Hen does all the really cute corgis, so that's why it's in my brain. Um, this one's by Danny Brito. This one's by Mega Midas. I love Ghost World, so there you go. We've got um, Floating Forest Studios with our Floating Forest. Another Disney pin. This was one of Ariel's sisters that I really liked uh, because she was blonde. <laughs> um, this is the Verified Checkmark by Adam J.K. This is a Terrarium by Mochi Cheeto. This was a pin that Hillary Clinton had during her last campaign. Um, I don't agree with everything she says or uh, stands for. I was kind of annoyed when she said that nobody liked Bernie, which is a lie. Um, but do I think she would have made a better president than Trump? We've got a gnome. This is our gnome wizard. This is actually my best selling pin in the shop. This one was um, from the original pin club, uh, pinclub.co.uk, I think. And I forget, I don't know who the artist is for that one. Um, this is by Stasia Burrington. I have been obsessed with her work for like 12, 13 years. <laughs> She's amazing. We actually get to work on a pin together which is really exciting, uh, a long time ago. Let's see. This one is a collab by Courtney, Courtney Doom on um, Instagram. She has the, the shop Iggy Stark Pup and uh, Fahima of Unicorn Crafts. They're cute little Pokemons. I'll put you up here. Got some iHeart Avocado. She is also based in Austin. She actually did um, Flare Fest with me. I think the last time we got to do it, <laughs> which seems forever ago. Um, cats rule everything around me. This one is from Punky Pins. And then this is the second colorway of the pin that Machi Cheeto and I worked on for my pin club. Another bestseller. Um, this is another pinclub.co.uk. I'm not sure of the artist. Um, this is one of mine. <laughs> this is not a big seller, but I love it because I made a It's just a little black and white kitten laying on a grandma towel. It makes me happy and I think it works good next to the Golden Girls because this reminds me of my grandma <laughs> um, I've got oh, I've got another gnome there. We're doubling up. Um, oh, it's because it's a different color. I changed the color slightly I don't know if you can tell Ooh, that one's a little bit darker than that one. But I think this is the main color that we have right now. I like how bright it is. Um, but 
Golden Girls by Atomic Spinster. I think she changed her name to Hondo Supply Company a few years ago. Another Disney pin, an Ariel sister, and this was uh, my little inner tube floating kitten from a few summers ago. Next up, we've got Tiny Deer Studio and Lisa Chow. I love these. You've seen me holler about these all the time, but I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got Liana He. You know how I feel about her mermaids. I have every single one because I cannot stop. This is one that Libby got for me. She traded it um, at a con. I'm not sure who did this one, but it's just a bunch of little kittens and a pill. It's a little happy pill. <laughs> we've got another gray muse. This one's fun because you can open it up and it's like a little stationary. Thing. I like that it looks like a little order. It's kind of a very meta pin for pin makers. <laughs> this one's by, I think it's Felt Good. Let me check. Lucky Horse Press. It's so cute. My grandma also had um, a fan that she would keep in the loft where I would sleep when I would go over to their house. And it just reminds me of summertime in Dallas, having the fan on at night. This one's by Happy Guppy. Um, she doesn't make pens anymore, but I loved her crochet work and her illustrations are so cute. This is Kawaii Goods. She's amazing. This is one of mine uh, from Christmas time. We've got, um, these are all hand over your fairy cakes, which I love. This is a collab that I did with Sherodactyl. This was the first one and this color sold out so fast. It was for the pin club and like I didn't have any extras. It was, it went so quickly. This one's by um, Paulina Gashino. Forgive me if I say that wrong. She's an amazing comic book artist. Um, this is Pretty Pin Candy Company. Pretty Candy Pin Company. <laughs> My brain. And we've got some Miss Kika. I think this one is Color Find Me. We've got um, Shark City Slicker. I love her style. You know how I feel about it. This one is by Pin Party Post. Um, I used to work with them on this. We started it together and then <laughs> it got to be a little too much for me. I couldn't, you guys know I love to overcommit, um, but they made a little like back to school set, which was really cute. This one's definitely Felt Good Co. What's this one? I forget. This is another Shark City Slicker. I'm gonna put the little sharkies next to each other. Yes, this one's Candy Corpse. Her stuff is cute. And I think this is Lucky Horse too. Yes. Always, always put your pin um, logo on the back of your pen. So people like me who can't keep anything in their brain, you can help them out. Okay. Uh, we've got Kawaii Chic or Chic Kawaii. Her stuff is so perfect. You'll see a bunch of her stuff um, later on. She's got some really good teal uh, stuff that I that I collect as well. And this one is mine. Um, a little hot chocolate cat. I love that one. And we've got Zillin. Those are my blue pins. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll have links down below to their shops. Yay! Thank you for watching. Here's a little peek behind the scenes. <laughs> I had to dismantle some stuff, put a little light up. I was like, let me just film this video really quick. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I will keep going with these pink collection ones. And I have um, a whole, let's see if I can um, this is completely full of new pins <laughs> that I have to put up, which is why I have a bunch of blank boards up now, but you can help me put those up when it's time. Okay, I'm rambling too much. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for pin stuff. I'll see you later. Okay, bye.